This is the opening shot for my very first feature film. I showed it to Piers Handling on a rickety old editing machine over 30 years ago. I got this shot by placing my camera on a baggage conveyor belt at Pearson Airport. We just showed up and took the shot without permission. But now I needed Piers' permission. I dreamt of getting this film into TIFF, especially because it was the very first year of a new program called Perspectives Canada. Piers liked the movie, but needed to show it to his mentor, Peter Harcourt. I sent the print to Ottawa so Peter could look at it and got this message a few weeks later. It changed my life and I've saved this cassette for all these years. Peter Harcourt, very much like your film and it will be on the next bus, sorry, the next bus back to Toronto. Sorry about the delay, but I could only get the table this afternoon. I hope we can get it to the program. Bye-bye. Oh, so amazing to hear Peter's voice. It takes me back immediately to uh, 1984, the beginning of Perspective Canada, this kind of exciting moment in Canadian film history. There had been a dearth of good Canadian films, and suddenly there was this wave of young Canadian talent centered in Toronto. You were part of that, others. Everyone thought we were crazy, that the cinemas were going to be empty, and of course they were packed, they were full. It was an incredible moment for the festival and for me personally, because I believed so much in Canadian cinema and in the filmmakers. And of course, you know, our relationship and my relationship with so many key Canadian filmmakers started there. The other thing I've kept for many years is a jar of dirt. It was given to me as a memento of another huge event, the groundbreaking for Tiff Bell Lightbox. On this jar, it reads, transforming the way people see the world. <laughs> Adam, it's incredible you kept this. Um, 10 years ago, April 23, 2007. So this is Earth from our groundbreaking. And um, if we wanted to create a home with Perspective Canada, which we did for Canadian filmmakers, this of course was the other part, the extension of that dream, to actually create a physical space not just for Canadian filmmakers who I love and adore, and I think it's so important we show their work, but also for international cinema and for audiences to connect with this work. I mean, I had a transformational experience when I was at university with Godard and a couple of films, and the building is about transforming the way people see the world through film. And so this is, in a jar, the very beginning of that aspirational dream to bring people together into a temple of cinema where people could just enjoy and love and learn about film. I have never been as nervous as that day when I showed Piers these opening shots on a beat-up old machine in a hot and muggy editing room. Thank you, Piers. Thank you for your passion, your intelligence, your impeccable taste, and your friendship. Adam. <laughs>